Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video I didn't know I was gonna make, but I need desperately. I got an email this morning from Bath and Body Works saying that their fall candles were $13. Interesting. Might have just used my last pump of hand soap in my bathroom as well. So I think the only right answer is to go get some candles and soaps from Bath and Body Works. Yes, they will be fall scented. If you are triggered, by fall scents in August. This is not a safe place for you. I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm also gonna say, why do you care what I burn in my house? You can burn whatever you want in your house. You know, let me let me live my life. YOLO, man, only live once. And I want it, as much of it filled with pumpkin scented things as possible. Actually like cinnamon, really. Like pumpkin's great, but we're all there for the cinnamon. We know that. Cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg where it's at. A little bit of maple sprinkled in there. I'm getting hungry. Oh my god. Unfortunately, Bath and Body Works is a 45 minute drive for me. I could order these online, but there's so many scents. I like to smell things. I want to go smell them. So I'm just going to make a day of it because there's also a Target. Yippee! And there is Trader Joe's, which I never go to because it's 45 minutes away. So I want to go scan some little snacky snacks, see what kind of good goodies I can get for good points. Um, I've heard that the Trader Joe's mozzarella is really low in points on Weight Watchers, so I want to give that a go because it's also supposed to be delicious. Um, so I'm going to pack a little cooler packs with me and bring my snacks because you can't drive 45 minutes without having snacks, okay? Because you might not need them, but you also might murder people if you don't eat. Like, it's, it's just a very fine line for me. Okay, on the, on the hangry scale. So I'm gonna take some popcorners, just two points for the sea salt ones, but I'm also going to take a Quest Bar. This is a three point Quest Bar. Make sure you scan your boxes before you buy. Not all of them are three points, but this oatmeal chocolate chip is. If you like chocolate, if you like cinnamon in your oatmeal, you'll like this one, I like it a lot. And I'm gonna take this big thing of water that I'm already consuming. So that's what we're taking, and hopefully we're gonna bring back a lot of other goodies. I also need some tennis shoes. And we've gone several times, but I, I don't like the pressure of when my husband and daughter are with me and we're looking for shoes and I can't find anyone to help us. And I don't know what size I want. And I don't know what style I want. And like, I feel like there's pressure. Everyone's waiting for me and I don't like it. It stresses me out. Even though they're sweet, it still stresses me out. So since I'm by myself, I'm going to go look for shoes. There's Chick-fil-A, there's Starbucks. I have options there that are low points for lunch. So I'll probably eat lunch in town. And like, you know, let's look at the makeup. Let's just, let's just see what we find. I'm very excited. Like I said, I planned on like doing nothing today other than chores. And there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done around the house. But I'm off tomorrow too. You know, today's play day because the candles are today only. So I can't go tomorrow and get candles, but I can do dishes tomorrow. You know what I mean? So priorities. This is, this is top priority. So let's go get some delicious scented candles and foods and snacks and like, Let's just, we're gonna celebrate the fact that fall's almost here. Okay, it's almost here. Got my little cooler bag. I got it from Sam's Club a long time ago. And I have two of these frozen blocks that come in my like, HelloFresh orders. So if I get anything frozen, they're gonna be good for the trip back. I can't zip this with one hand, oh gosh. While I'm on my way to Fort Worth, let's go ahead and get into this Yvette haul. I love Yvette Sports. I've worked with them multiple times at this point. It's great quality, great price, sewn in pads, super stretchy leggings. I have no bad things to say about them. All the links will be down below for each item that I'm showing you. I have two different sets. You have to buy them individually, but they go together and then a shirt to show you. They are so cute. I felt so cute at the gym. So I'm really excited to share these sets with you. If you have any questions about sizing, there is a size guide on their website, but they will also chat with you on Instagram if you wanna send them a message. So you have plenty of help available to find the right size. I am 5'5", about 190, about a 42D, and I'm in between a 14 and 16 on pant, if that helps you with sizing. I'll share all the sizes uh, with each item as I show you what the item is. So if that helps you for size reference. Let's just jump straight into it. 
First up, the Shift Light Jacquard Mesh Running Tank. This comes in sizes medium to 3XL. It comes in two colors, white and black. I'm wearing the 2XL here. I love these mesh detail panels on the back. It shows off your bras so that you can tell that my bra is matching my tights without it showing off too much, so I still feel confident. I love the cut on this where it covers up your front, goes up to the side of your hip to show off those cute little hips, and then covers your butt. Now let's look at this bra in closer detail. This is the Echo Print Zip Perforated Racerback Padded Running Bra. It's a high support bra that comes in sizes small plus to 3XL plus. This is the only print option. I'm wearing the 2XL plus here. I love this print. I think it's a really great transition from summer into fall and it is super comfortable. And that zipper does not budge. You don't have to worry about it falling down in the middle of a workout. And we love a matching set. So these are the Echo Print stretchy running leggings. These are high support leggings that come in sizes medium up to 3XL. I am wearing the 2XL here. There is plenty of stretch still left in these and I love the print. Like I said, this is a great summer to fall print. These are super cute and super stretchy. They hit me just above my ankle. Now on to our next set. This is the Echo Zip Perforated Racerback Padded Running Bra. It's a high support bra that comes in small plus to 3XL plus. There are three color options. I'm wearing the 2XL plus. I love this set so much. So much so that I wanna get the other colors. It's so comfortable. I felt so cute. I love the fact that the zipper does have a little covering so you don't have to worry about it snagging or anything. I love the little hole details on the top of the bra. That's one thing I love about Yvette is I feel like their bras have so much detail in them. It just makes them so special. It makes you feel special and excited to go to the gym. And again, we love a matching set. So the fact that these come with these incredible biker shorts is amazing. These are the Echo with High Waist Color Block Biker Shorts. They come in two colors. Again, I want all the colors. They're high support. They have sizes medium to 3XL. I'm wearing the 2XL here. I wanted to show you how stretchy this bottom part is. There is no cutting off my thigh. It is so smooth, so streamlined, so stretchy, so comfortable. I cannot wait to wear more. This also looks great with the white shirt. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with this tank top. I just love the way it hits. I was feeling so cute. I had to get a little bit of gym footage. I'm just telling you, the way that this shirt is cut is so flattering. Also, dark colors hide cellulite really well. And these are both dark colored tights that are still fun. So if you are worried about showing cellulite, but you don't want just everyday black leggings, these are both great options for you. That's all for our Yvette haul. So back to your normal scheduled program. When she says when she says she loves me We're here Your destination is on the left Wow, success. Those people in there were so freaking nice. Four candles, five soap. So I'll go over what I got when we get home. And now I need to go shopping for some shoes. Let's hope they have what I want. What do I want? I have no idea. That's why I'm here. I literally just tried on shoes for an hour walked around shoes are expensive in my head i really wanted some on clouds my husband has them i think they're really sleek looking they have some all white ones i'm kind of boring that way like if i'm gonna spend 150 plus dollars on some shoes i want them to match everything um but when it came down to it i went with hoka and not because i love the way they look they're fine. They look fine. They're, they're a lot of shoe. Okay. They're, they're very cushiony. So there's a lot of shoe, but these things are the most freaking comfortable shoe. I have the Achilles tendonitis. If you didn't know, if you hadn't seen it in my videos. And so if I don't have enough like arch support and cushion my heel all the way up the back of my heel into my ankle hurts really, really badly. Um, so I really, really like the support is number one for me. 
these are it. This is where it's at. Now I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna be like my child who gets really excited about her new clothes and stuff and wants to put them on in the car. So that's what we're gonna do. I got new shoes. I got new shoes. I got new shoes. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Like walking on bunnies, man. I was getting hungry after all this shopping, so I decided to have lunch at the Starbucks that's in my Target. So a skinny iced latte is two points, and this turkey bacon cheddar egg white sandwich is six points. They are both delicious. I might have this from time to time at work for lunch because there's a Starbucks right across the road. It's sad how much these three bags cost me. My team, we made it to our last stop, but it is freaking busy here, so there's probably not going to be any recording inside. A few moments later. Y'all, I need to go home before I spend any more money. This is, it's getting out of control. I'm, I'm grounding myself. We're going home. Just made it back home and my daughter's going to be home in like 20 minutes from school. So let's see if we can get through all this stuff before she gets home. We're going to start with Trader Joe's because this is the only place that actually bought cold stuff because it was the last stop. Um, so let's just dive right in. They had their apple cider donuts in the store. They smell so good because someone's handing out samples. I bought these for my husband and daughter. I don't plan on eating one, but if I did want one, it's 15 points. And if I wanted half, it was eight points. So this might be something where if I have a really low point day, I might have half of one and share it with my daughter uh, as dessert or something. I think eight points is a little bit more reasonable than 15 points. So it might be a splurge item, but I don't plan on it, but stuff happens, you know? Let's see. Another thing along the lines of just for my daughter are these like peanut butter and cream. They're like little peanut butter rolled up cookies that you can dip in cream. I don't plan on having these. I just saw them. I thought she might like them for school, but if I did want one, it'd be 14 points. So those are the not friendly stuff. Just wanted to show you. Now let's move on. I did get their mozzarella light. This is for one ounce. It's two points, which I think is good. That sounds really good to me. Uh, so I bought three of them. I have until October 26th to eat them or I can throw them in the freezer. So if you wanna know what kind of cheese I'll be having between now and whenever these run out, it's Trader Joe's mozzarella. Another thing I got there because it's literally the only place that I have seen them other than Bucky's are barbells. Me. I might have spent way too much money all. I got a lot. <laughs> this many. I got all the flavors that they had. I don't know how many flavors Barbell has. Uh, they have salty peanut. Uh, I'm going to show you the ones that are five points first. So salty peanuts, five points. I have not had this one yet. I got two of everything so that my husband and I can eat them. Um, but then I got several of the caramel cashew because this one so far has been my favorite. These taste like candy bars. I know they're five points for a protein bar and that seems like a lot of points, but if you can eat this instead of a Snickers and feel satisfied and then you don't have a crazy like sugar rush and you just had a bunch of protein, it's totally worth it and it's worth the like 229 or whatever they cost. So it's 20 grams of protein, three grams of fiber, only one gram of sugar. I don't know how they do it, but it's so delicious. They have cookies and cream. Uh, whenever we were at Bucky's the last time, I actually picked up these two and me and my husband each had one. And he was like, the, like, what kind of candy bar did you get me? I said, no, it's a protein bar. So I'm telling you, it's delicious. And then I have not tried, or I think I did try it like way back when, but I haven't tried it in a really long time is the hazel nougat. This is five points. And then the last one, I only got one of these because this one is six points. And I'll spend five points, but I'm not gonna spend six points. So this one's for my husband. I don't know why. Why that extra point was a deal breaker beats me. Uh, but chocolate dough. So I might try a bite of it just to see if it is worth the six points. But we're good on protein bars for like five days if we both have one every day. So actually that's kind of depressing. Then I did get, I've seen this on Nikki Gets Fit, but I've never had it. 
This is the reduced gilt mac and cheese. I bought two of them, it's frozen mac and cheese. You can have the entire container for 10 points or I can do half of it for five points if I wanna share it with my daughter. My husband is going to be closing the store down several times next week. So we wanted some meals that like me and my daughter can just eat really quickly. So have the blackened chicken on the side or the grilled chicken on the side. And I have a meal in like literally 10 minutes that I can feel good about. I've never tried this, so I don't know if it's worth it. Just for reference, this was like around 250. I'll put it on the screen if I can find the receipt uh, per box and it's 10 points. You can buy like a four pack of these for $5 or whatever. And this is eight points. So this is definitely more mac and cheese, but you know you and your budget and uh, what's going on there. So make an educated choice. I got these mini beef tacos. I have seen these on someone else's channel too, way back in the day. I don't even remember who it was. It might've been like uh, Louis Lane. I don't remember, but it is seven points for four mini tacos, or you can have five mini tacos for eight points. So that's probably what I'll do. Uh, particularly this coming up week, I'll probably have five. There's six servings in here of four tacos. So that's actually pretty good. Cause it was like $4 for this, maybe five, I don't know. I'm not, I already told you, I'm not good at staying on budget with food. Um, so having five of these little tacos with some like Cholula or the Taco Bell sauce and then having corn on the side, like seam corn. And I got this elote seasoning to put on my corn with my tacos. It's gonna be amazing. I didn't even know such a thing existed. Everything but the elote, salt, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, and cumin, all in here. You know what I just saw? Why is cane sugar the first ingredient? Oh, well, we're gonna go with it. It says zero calories for a fourth of a teaspoon. So, whatever. And then I bought this and it was on a whim because I've seen Lauren from Louise Lane, how are you say her channel on YouTube? She's been putting this all over her eggs and stuff. And so I just thought it was a chili paste thing, like a hot sauce kind of situation. I didn't realize it was actually in olive oil until I just got home and scanned it. Four points for one tablespoon. She just puts like literal drops on it. So I can probably do like a fourth of a teaspoon or something and that'd be good. But uh, we'll see if this is worth that. Whoops. The uncured turkey corn dogs. Again, my husband's gonna not be here. And he's also gonna be at work. Um, I'll be at work when he's going in. So he's gonna need some quick things to make himself for lunch before he goes in. So this is like, it works for all of us on this coming up week. I've never had these. I've seen these on Sophie, Sophie D. It's like, I watch these people's channels so much, but I don't even know their channel name because I just know them by their first name. I've seen her get these. They are five points for one corn dog. This is again, one of those things that you put with some of those popcorn or chips and some broccoli or something on the side and you have seven points for a dinner and it will be filling because you put a lot of broccoli on the side. You know what I mean? And then only three more things from Trader Joe's. Two of them are potatoes because if you know me, you know that my favorite food groups are potatoes and peanut butter. That's just how I roll, that's just who I am. So I got two options of potatoes because potatoes. These are the half rounds. If you know, you know, throw them in the air fryer. Four points for one of them. You can top it with avocado and egg and have yourself like a little potato avocado toast situation. Yum. They are the closest things to like the McDonald's hash browns I have found. I've tried other brands. These are where it's at. And then I really love these little potato pancakes. They are four points for two of them, which are like about this. And then I like to top them with light sour cream. I wouldn't normally, you know, four points for a side is a little up there, but if you have it with some zero point chicken or, you know, like make yourself a turkey patty hamburger situation without the burger, have these on the side, it's gonna be good. Always throw a vegetable on the side as well. You're, you're gonna, it's gonna be delicious. And potatoes, need I say more? No, I do not need to say more. Last thing I bought there were 
these little bell pepper things. Tastes like sunshine flavor. Taste the sunshine flavor? I don't know, that's what it says. Um, I have leftover shredded chicken that has like a buffalo and ranch seasoning on it. That I just did in the crock pot before I went to work the other day. And I have just a little bit left over, but I thought of stuffing that and Laughing Cow into one of these and air frying it for a quick um, lunch, maybe tomorrow. If it turns out well, I will show you how to do it. But I literally just have a little bit of that chicken left over. So no wasting here. Let's go buy something else so we don't waste the chicken. We can have these with um, the tacos as well. You know, we got options. I'm gonna go put this all this cold stuff away real quick before we get into our Target haul. I totally almost forgot because all my protein bars were hiding it, but I got just this ranch seasoning as well. I thought this would be good on chicken. Um, sprinkling this with my buffalo chicken into those peppers and stuff will be delicious. It's a quick way to get ranch. Throw in some breadcrumbs, you got some ranch breaded chicken. You get the idea. I didn't want to miss it. Target haul time. I got some veggie straws. I do feel like I was bamboozled a little bit because I stand this here and it said three points. Well, I just pulled both of these out to verify that they're both three points. In the ranch one, it is three points. This one's four points. So still not bad for some chips. They are quite a good size. I just don't understand why though, because I guess the gram of fat, they're both 100 calories. Yeah, they're both 100 calories, so I don't really understand. But three to four points for these. They're great for my lunch, my daughter's lunch. I can't get them at my store, so I thought I might as well. Another thing I got is the 100 calorie maple brown sugar. This is my favorite flavor. Maple brown sugar is my favorite flavor of oatmeal. And I got the 100 calorie better oats at HEB, but I could only get cinnamon roll at my store. So I could not get this one. They didn't carry it. So it's two points for the uh, bag of oatmeal. It is a small bag. Uh, if this one is like the cinnamon roll one, they, it is a small portion, but I like to top it with extra cinnamon and then a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds because whenever I pull up a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, it says zero points. Um, so I add that to it to give it a crunch and a little bit more, you know, umph to my meal. And it's been really, really good for me. Um, it's something I can eat quickly because it's not a ton of food, but I have something in my stomach. So I'm not super hungry and uh, three grams of fiber for it. So it does help. So that's a good breakfast option. Speaking of breakfast, I, I, I did, I did it. I'm so excited. Um, they had a couple different pumpkin spice options, but I decided to go with the decaf one of the Target brand because I don't always want pumpkin spice coffee, but it is a nice treat. And when I want it to be a treat, it's probably in the evening and I'm probably gonna need decaf. So this is gonna be like a dessert drink for me. Do this, a little bit of Cool Whip and we're good to go. Or uh, the Ready Whip, well, you know what I mean. Uh, and then I got the cinnamon sugar cookie for the mornings because I get that sweet cream vanilla. It goes well with every single flavor of coffee. So I think this will be absolutely delicious. I'm really excited about it. I got this cheesy enchilada dip. I had seen someone else use it, but gosh, I can't remember what they did with that. I can't remember if it was on Instagram. I think it was on Instagram. It's probably saved somewhere on my Instagram what they did with it. I feel like they made a enchilada bowl to take to work. I think that's what I'm gonna do with it. Like have chicken and some rice and black beans and lettuce. And then two tablespoons is only two points. Dang, I forgot. I had to re-look it up on my phone. So two tablespoons of this is one point. That's a ton of flavor for one point. So I'm very excited to add that to my little taco bowls for work. And then I have two dessert options that I got and then some random stuff. So I have, oh, actually, before I get to dessert, I saw this one sheet pan. I've seen someone on YouTube use this and I, it sounded delicious. It's just seasoning packets that you can add uh, vegetables and chicken to and then roast it all in one pan. So I thought that was really delicious. This is the farmer's market one. So it's herbs, onion, herbs, onions, and bell pepper. So sounds good. Gives you little instructions on there. So we're gonna try that. 
Now the dessert options, we have our already made dessert option. This is the Made Good chocolate chip cookies. There are many cookies. One bag of these is five points, which is a little high, but for a dessert, sometimes you just need a chocolate chip cookie. You know what I mean? Oh man, bam. it's so tiny. This is what you get sometimes. And that's why I'm buying it and you didn't have to. Five points for, They better be good. We're gonna we're just gonna try it now. Cause now I'm just irritated. It's the size of my eyeball. And I don't have big beautiful eyes. Let's see how many they are. Get seven baby little baby cookies. For five points. Let's see if it's worth it. Okay, they're good. They are really good. But I'm have to get back with you on if they're worth five points. I wonder if you could like use half a bag and like chop it up and like top it onto like yogurt or something. It might be worth it in that case. Where you get like the the chocolate cookie vibe. I don't know. We got 12 of them though, so I'll figure it out. My daughter will love them for her snack. And then the last food option I have is the Halo Top peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. I already told you, peanut butter is its own food group in this household. So I was really excited to try this. I scanned it and was shook by the fact that one cookie will be two points. Uh, because I'm going to use, I can't believe it's not butter light. It says you need three tablespoons of butter or margarine melted and then water. So that's it. So for, it says this makes 16 cookies as well. So that's less than half a teaspoon of this per cookie. And then one teaspoon and less is zero points. So this is not gonna add any points to this. So it's gonna be two points for a cookie or two cookies for five points. So I will put this on a what I eat in a day coming up just to let you know if I think it's worth it or not. It was pricey. Um, as far as like actual price, but not pricey for points. So we'll see if it was worth it. A couple more things I got from Target is my moisturizer. I love Natrium, uh, Susan Yara. She's on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, I love her, her line of skincare products. This has helped me out so much. I literally work. Oh, my daughter just came home. All right, since her daughter just got home, she's gonna try them. They're pretty high on points. Is it worth, do you think it's worth that? No? Mm -mm. Would you eat them at school? No. No? No. Teachers would probably yell at me for eating something sweet. So. Well, there you have it, folks. Maybe we can, uh, Tell my husband they're healthy cookies and then he won't feel bad for eating them for dessert. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Here is the jar. This stuff is keeping my face alive. I, I literally work in a refrigerator where it's about 35 degrees. And if you're like me, your face dries out in the winter time. Yeah, think about doing that every day for, not every day, but you know, eight hours a day three to five days a week. So this, I put this stuff on at night. It's really thick and luxurious feeling and it keeps my skin from just being a pruny, dried out mess. And the last thing I got, I love the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It's my favorite mascara. And I just saw on Instagram, this is supposed to be a dupe for that mascara. That mascara is $25. This mascara is $12. So I'm excited to try this. Uh, because that mascara has been drying out so quickly lately. I don't know if they've changed the formula or what. But it's like I used to be able to get six months out of it and now it's only lasting like two months before it feels dried out. This is weird. I don't know about this. What is happening? The wand is all weird. I'm gonna try to make it look like a perfume bottle or something. Can I see? It's 
So let's do something. Oh, you can bend it. Oh, that's weird. So I guess you can like put it on like this. Okay, well that might be cool. How long it looks like? I'll let you know okay. if it if it's a dupe or not. The lady on on the interweb said it was, so it has to be true. Let's get our candles, our last thing that started this whole journey off to begin with. <laughs> Very excited. I gotta stand up. All right, I got four candles, five soaps. Let's get into this. Pumpkin cinnamon bun. It's everything you could want. Warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, vanilla frosting with natural oils. Yes. Do you wanna smell it? She's just hovering over here. It smells like heaven. heaven. <laughs> yeah. Leaves. This is a recurring favorite every year. Leaves. Uh, it smells like crisp like red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. Yes. It's, yes. And then I got two different ones. I've never, I don't know if they've had these or if I've just been like under a rock. This is apple macchiato. Yes. Oh my gosh, it smells like... It's Washington spiced apples, a hint of cinnamon, caramel drizzle, froth, froth milk. So, yes. And then the last one I got is Fresh Fall Morning. I got this one particularly for my husband because he really likes masculine scents. Citrus zest, woodland sage, red delicious apple, Clearly we like apple, cause it's like in everything almost. So those are the four I got. And yes, we'll be burning one today. Let's get into the hand soaps. I got this one from my daughter's bathroom because Halloween and we love Halloween. This is Spellbinding Sweets. I don't think they put, oh yeah. Haunted Lollipop is the first thing on the fragrance. I've never had a Haunted Lollipop before. Sweet Bubblegum and Bewitched Berries are the scents in this. It does smell good. Then we have Fall Festival. We got a mixture of foam and gel just because that's what we like. This has fresh pumpkin, spiced cinnamon, sweet maple almond butter. Ooh, no wonder it smells so good. Almond butter. Almond butter can go with the peanut butter as a food group. Like they can be friends. Harvest pumpkin, spice clove, and sugar cane. Who doesn't love the sweet cinnamon pumpkin? I mean... If you don't, there's, there might be something wrong with you. I hate, to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Pumpkin cupcake, baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla, frosting, and golden honey. I'm not saying any bad words here. They're all delicious. Pumpkin pecan waffle, maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. And then I had, because I have the app, they were all, like all the candles were $13. Then also had, there was a coupon. If you spend $30, you get $10 off. And then because I already had the app and already accumulated some points, I had a free gift, anything under like $16, uh, but it had to be like $16 retail. So I went with the leaves room spray because we needed one for our bathroom. And you've already seen my um, my new kicks that I'm very excited about. So, oh, my new kicks. So that's all the money I spent today. Way too much. Good thing I went back to work. It'll be fine. And I will see y'all next time. Bye y'all.